Hello friends. Today topic is reflux ratio. In this topic, we will see what is reflux ratio, total reflux ratio, minimum reflux ratio, and optimum reflux ratio. First, let's see what is the reflux ratio. So, the molar ratio of amount of liquid fed back to the top of column is reflux to the amount of liquid withdrawn from the top of column as distillate is called the reflux ratio. Hence we can say that reflux ratio is the ratio of molar flow rate of reflux to the molar flow rate of distillate. It is denoted by R. Now let's see what are reflux and distillate. So, in this distillation column, the liquid mixture to be separated is introduced here as feed. The tray or plate where feed is introduced is called a feed plate. The section above the feed plate is called the rectifying section. Where the vapor is washed to remove a less volatile component with the liquid. The section below the feed plate, including feed plate, is called the stripping section, where the liquid is stripped of more volatile component by rising vapor. Then vapors generated in a reboiler are fed to the bottom of the column. The liquid removed from the bottom of the column is called the bottom product or residue, which is rich in a less volatile component. Then the vapor rising from the top of the column is fed to the condenser. Then the part of the condensed liquid is returned to the column is called reflux. B. By doing reflux, we can increase the quality or purity of the product. The remaining part is withdrawn is called top product or distillate, which is rich in a more volatile component. So according to the definition of reflux ratio, we can write as Reflux ratio is equal to Amount of liquid fed back to the column as reflux Divided by Amount of liquid withdrawn as distillate Hence R is equal to L divided by D Now, let's see the next topic so the next topic is total reflux ratio or infinite reflux ratio so at total reflux condition the product withdrawn rate is zero for that first an enough material is charged to the column and then column is operated under total reflux means that distillate is not collected from the column and all the condensed stream from the condenser is fed back to the column as reflux and also liquid going to the reboiler is vaporized and fed back to the column hence as no product is removed distillate d is equal to zero feed f is equal to zero and residue w is equal to zero Hence, at total reflux condition, we can write F is equal to 0, D is equal to 0, and W is equal to 0. Hence, the reflux ratio become R is equal to L divided by D is equal to L divided by 0, which is equal to infinity. So, at total reflux condition, R is equal to infinity. Hence, the total reflux ratio is also called infinite reflux ratio. So, as we know, at a total reflux ratio, R is maximum, which is equal to infinity. 
Hence, it is also called the limiting values of reflux ratio. Now, as we know, at total reflux condition, all the condensed stream from the condenser and vapor from reboiler fed back to the column. Hence, the heat supply to the reboiler and condenser cooling capacity will be maximum. As no distillate and residue is withdrawn. Hence, the vapor and liquid molar flow rate on each tray will be equal. Due to this, the vapor molar flow rate of vapor entering to the entha plate is equal to the liquid molar flow rate of liquid leaving to the entha plate. Hence we can say, Vn plus 1 is equal to Ln. Hence the slope of the operating line of both section becomes unity. As the slope of the operating line of both section becomes unity. The operating line of both sections coincide with diagonal. For this condition, if we draw steps using macabre Tillet method, we get minimum number of trays. Hence, the number of stages required for desired degree of separation will be minimum. Now, at the total reflux ratio, the number of trays is minimum. Hence, fixed cost for the separation will also be minimum. And, at the total reflux ratio, reboiler heat supply and condenser cooling capacity is maximum. Hence, operating cost is also maximum. So, that's all about the total reflux ratio. Now, let's see the next topic. Minimum reflux ratio. The minimum reflux ratio is that reflux ratio at which number of trays are infinite for the desired degree of separation. It is denoted by Rm. Now, as we know, at total reflux ratio, that is, at infinite reflux ratio, the operating line of both sections coincide with the diagonal. And hence, at infinite reflux ratio, the number of stages required for separation will be minimum. Then, if we reduce the reflux ratio, the operating line of both the sections move towards the equilibrium curve along feed line. And hence the number of stages will be increases. Now, if we further reduce the reflux ratio, the top of the operating line of both the section touches the equilibrium curve along the feed line at the pinch point with coordinates y dash and x dash. So at this point of intersection, steps become very close together. Due to this, an infinite number of stages are obtained. So, at minimum reflux ratio, number of plate will be infinite. Due to this, the fixed cost will be maximum. Then, heat supply for reboiler and coolant supply for condenser are minimum, and hence the operating cost will be minimum. So that's all about the minimum reflux ratio. Now let's see the next topic. Optimum reflux ratio. The optimum reflux ratio is defined as is that reflux ratio at which the total cost of operation that is the sum of fixed cost and cost of cooling and heating is minimum. So, the optimum reflux ratio is the optimum value of reflux ratio where the sum of fixed cost and operating cost will be minimum. 
The optimum ratio can be obtained between infinite reflux ratio, requiring a minimum number of plates, and minimum reflux ratio, requiring an infinite number of plates. The optimum reflux ratio is usually lies in the range of 1.1 to 1.5 times the minimum reflux ratio. So that's all about optimum reflux ratio. So this is all about reflux ratio, total reflux ratio, minimum reflux ratio, and optimum reflux ratio. If you like my video, please like my video, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to my channel.